Hey everybody here, it's me AC Gaming, and we're here on the Dueling Network. And I'm doing competitive dual commentary. This is the first one of the competitive dual commentaries that I will be doing. Uh, this match is like I just started. There's a lot of viewers here. I think one of these guys may be one of the, some of the top people on DN currently. TT Trainer and uh, Chronio Graph. I know he's playing Necros. So I have no clue what the other dude's playing so far. Based on. Yeah. He's only playing 13 cards in his extra deck, it seems. Or he may have used some of that. He may have exhausted the majority of his resources. Based on the decks, he has 38 in deck, so. I have no clue what he's doing. I know one plays Necros, and I don't know the other one. The deck again dropped. Colossal's gonna go by by. Oh, shit, all it's okay. Squamata, of course. Yeah. I think that was it all fusion. Choice of Ailer. You gonna make that construct, bro? Gonna make that construct? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All the effects of the ones at the graveyard. Except the Ailer, of course. That would be retarded. Goes in the beast. Goes in the corpse. Of course, he's going to edge it all using his hand. That's, it would make sense not to. Yeah. Well, is he going to maybe activate El Shadol all his hand? No, okay. He's going to set his entire hand, basically. I mean, at least one of them is an El Shadol. There's a lot of watches here. There's like 48. Freaking ridiculous. Freaking. <laughs> okay, yeah. So let's see how this, uh, this rolls. He's gonna banish those. Trainer seems to be happy. Horse is gonna add the cycle. Freaking math equations is a name, wonderful. Um, yeah, I peek at it for my eye, I see math equations. We got Strategist, or Strategist, aka Sharik. So I want to know what you guys think about this format. I, in my opinion, it's like the worst format of the Yukio, just overall Yukio, it's the most boring format, in my opinion. I mean, you're walking to a tournament, there's going to be a few eyeballs like me and everything like that, but the majority of people are going to be playing Shadals, Necros, and the Stellar Knights, and Quillforts, and Burning Abyss. It's so annoying and so stupid. What happened to originality in this game, you know? There's a lot of people that are just... Yeah, do that. That dude wants the artifacts, apparently. It's going to activate the cycle. Get that Bryonic. I figure you also do that with Sharid, it makes perfect sense. Gonna add the Colossalus. The Center Shadow Games? Yeah, that makes sense. Sweet! Falco! Gonna go into that after game. Gomada! Gonna aid his beast. That's Sylvia or Sylvan. Or, yes, I think it's Sylvan. Pronounce it that. Sylvan Shadol, the thing that's OCG currently. It's That's really good, actually. That flip ritual. It's up usable. And that pot. Broken. So let's see. Oh, he's acting with the effect of Bio. Yeah. Oh, all fusion, figure as much. Through the beast and construct, so he misses the target. And for another construct. He 
must have, like, you may have forgotten or maybe you just wanted to be it out, for all we know, but, yeah. You can re-add the shit all L. He's gonna draw. It's a pretty good match so far. I mean, TT Trainer here is doing really well holding off the Necro's Assault from Shario Graf. And the ratings, by the way, is uh, 1667 and 2995 and 1748 and 13,396. They have more experience, he outranks them, and that's why I judge them on. I judge players on their experience. Majority of the times. Like, I'm not going to be that person to say, hey, the rating is all very bad. He actually the Vandies. I agree with the chat down there with Necro Scout go. It does. I hope Konami is listening. The Banhammer must come. The Banhammer must ban. It must smack the Bryos in the face and the Valks and all of them in the face. Or you just ban all the ritual spells and they're basically useless. Ban all the mirrors, ban all the um, freaking. <laughs> that would just be so stupid. You ban all the ritual spells and all the things you use to ritual summon them. And then they can't use any of them. Any of the rituals. That'd be retarded. Attack the face, which we already know is a Skolmala. Declares the start of his bright knack. And then he activates Kaleska, of course. Drinking Quasar again. And yeah. Those those shutters. Roll the dice. Oh, he hit the BLS. He hit the BLS. I forgot about the cough. There goes the BLS. Chat must. So yeah, he summons out the Shadow Dragon, which I hope in the long run he has to get out of that. I believe we still have the L in hand, and he lays the valve, of course. He always had that fucking valve. I guess he put in a wonderful effort. I'll give I'm giving the friggin' TG trainer that, and also the Yeah, so that was game one, it seems. Yeah, it was game one. Don't be such a negative Nancy, you friggin' tr friggin' t t oh, TR trainer, not TT trainer, my bad. Look at my screen sideways, so yeah. So yeah. I really hope that in this ban list, for this format, for, well, not, well not this format, you know, the next ban list, they actually put in some work. Being that we're going to be getting Clown Blade soon, and people are probably stocking up a thousand blades as we're speaking, I think they're going to need to get rid of some stuff over here before they can make that come over here and break the game even more. So they got to get rid of the Necros, nerf the Burning Abyss a bit, and put like, nerf the freaking stealth, nerf the freaking. Stuff. Like summer, mo summer resorts does not deserve to get banned. Uh, that deserves to stay. I honestly think that there's a lot of things that could come back for that ban list. I think they could put dragon ravines at two instead of one. Because we got colossals dropping down. Drop it like a ta, drop it like a ta. Break 
login cycle. Colossal, trying to do the TV lock. It's not even worth the TV locking anymore, to be completely honest. It really isn't. I don't think there's a season lock. I guess it's the one since I've actually seen the season lock. Let's see what's happening in the watch chat. Let's see what's going crazy. Kadam was afraid that rulers would return if they made Yang dragons. They would. They would make made them wipers instead. Flat. Okay. Okay. Why are they so surprised at Cherry O'Graph? I is he like something high and doing that work as a person that we should worry about? They changed the name actually. Changed the name. Oh, okay, I'll tell. I'll, I'm not. It's not even worth saying anything. <laughs> so good in Skomala. I'm so sorry. I'm not really paying attention, guys. This tired and all, and I really want to do this type of video you all out there to enjoy. <laughs> Hope you don't hear that freaking jackhammer. People are working on the house on the other side, and I don't have any soundproof windows and all that. So yeah, doing that. Of the man you that the man you that's the man you okay manju or uh, however you want to pronounce his name kaleidoscope <laughs> kaleidoscope yep Harold there drops it there he drops the freaking unicorn see that unicorn I see that unicorn what's he gonna go into uh sort of saying so I can predict like a bunch of plays I can like, freaking with Dolce's I can do that and I can do like shit alls I like the necros it's just it's I don't like it and so I freaking just try to forget the friggin moves a boring mindset to my head. If you, if you understand what I'm trying to say, they're just extremely boring. No offense to all you, uh, Necros players out there, because yesterday I was at my locals on talking to somebody how Necros is really kind of boring, and it's kind of, you know, it's extremely meta, and he's saying, I'm saying I'm not. I don't have fun playing against it, and I don't think it's really that fun of a deck. It kind of ruins the game for me. And he started getting very defensive about it, and started to say, "Uh, uh get out of it. Uh, it's, it's a very complicated deck. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's boring, because it's so complicated that your opponent takes five minutes to make their move. You know, I don't want. And then you're going to end up in time. He sighed. I, I, I don't think he made that guy. He sighed that in. Freaking artifacts. Well, dude, they asked for artifacts. He got artifacts. Lord. They changed the name. TCG. 
Yeah, I, I like helping out people. Morale. So when he dropped the freaking artifact, Mahler will attack. I can't pronounce the shit. Anyways, he's got the Bryonic, the freaking Manju. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty good duel, actually. Jesus Christ. He <laughs> activates the mirror. There goes the freaking strategist into the bear zone. And there goes the valve. Pick your freaking targets. Oh, well, Valor works. Have that Valor. Have that Valor. Yeah, of course, now that that makes perfect sense. I have the effect for trigger, but it's not. I don't even remember the effect now. Suppose it wouldn't. He attacks into that. And he, is he going to attack into the face down one or not? He, maybe, uh, I, maybe, maybe it's a top though. Or, I had a child now. <laughs> into school model that makes perfect sense. School model effect goes into that what I think it is. That is a beast, yep. Trust. Also later today, I'm gonna make make a, a discussion on um how you say some mechanics that Konami should decide maybe revamp and make them actually better and actually invest more time in them because look what they did to rituals they went to such a desperate, desperate state to bring rituals back that they made necros and all that and I think there's a few other almost forgotten uh, game mechanics and. That people forgot about that deserve a revamp that are actually really good if used properly. <laughs> Friggin' BLS though, when you drop the BLS, that's when some things get serious. Goes into the freaking beast. There goes the Falco, he's sinking it up. For friggin' Leo. I, I love that card. In general, it's just a, such a good card. See that not going to play compulsory evacuation device anymore. He's going to be attacking that probably because he wants to draw. Do you want to draw? No, he wants to draw. Okay. He's going to be attacking to the Manju. Manju. Or however you want to freaking pronounce the name. Smart, I think that was one of the best places in the situation. Getting rid of the Manju, it really was a roll of the Manju, but attacking in with freaking mathematician was a really smart idea so we get the draw, because maybe he could get an L or something like that. It really depends on what he wants, it depends on his hand, because currently, we don't know his hand. Nor do we know his opponent, but he probably has. <laughs> That's an Athelio. But that's something, that, that, that's a thing. Drawn. Mount you. Search. Friggin', friggin' insane, yeah.
Don't get salty. So yeah, this person's getting seems to be getting a bit upset. Breaking TR. Don't get upset, man. Don't get upset. It's just a freaking game. Don't let the meta control you. Don't let it control you. He edge the mirror. And he's gonna pass. Let's see if we got anything good in that nice big hand of his. Let's see if he gets it something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mathematician. You know, I can the fact that he goes to the Dragon's Commando, Falco. Look at Falco, yeah. He's going to Falco. Going to attack the Manju. One. Okay. Anyways, come on. Come on. Don't 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 spend five minutes thinking. Don't 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 don't, don't. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you for making a move. Gonna check that I'm gonna suppose now. Going to attack in? Not going to attack in. Doesn't want to give him a draw. He can use it on his own turn. Very smart play, very smart play by Chrono. And then he's got the Dark Hole. Wonderful. You got to use life points? Pretty much almost everything inside the Necro's archetype, I think, could take you down. Like, outright. Which is ridiculous right now. If you don't get some stuff in. Come on. I want to see Necros just get demolished. Like, I'm not being biased here, but I kind of want TR to win, although he's being extremely salty. My last we can send you, send you, send you. I'm going to add the Unicorn. Yeah, if he could make Heartland Draco for game, boys. Heartland Draco for game. Look. Heartland drink up for gay boys. <laughs> Cause you get the friggin' uh friggin' unicorn or valve, whatever the hell his name is. Yeah, I, he had a unicorn, so if he could make unicorn, he'd go overlay, hope he has nothing in the back row. Come on. Come on, Heartland Draco for game. I want, I want to see Heartland Draco for game. Come on. Draco, 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 Draco. Yes, come on. Overlay that crap. Overlay that crap. Overlay that crap. Yeah, that was a Skype call. I can't answer that right now. Come on, Draco. Come on, Draco. Come on. So, Draco for game. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, artifact that game. That's good. That, that's really good for him. Getting that Lancery. Freaking Stellar Diamond. You could have, you could have, you could have been Heartland Draco for Kane, buddy. You could have, but it gets Artifact Sanctum. So that's a good idea. L. And there goes Skullmaw. And Construct drops. Mirror. Huge. Oh. Oh, get smacked! Um, get messed up! Keep fusion! <laughs> the fusion! The fusion. Okay. He sided in the fusion. There's no way he main decks the fusion. I don't think anyone main decks the fusion unless it helps them or implies to their deck. But he's definitely sided that crap in. Freaking amazing. That makes me happy actually. That 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 that's that, that that's sight. That you don't see a lot. You saying okay? Sorry. I'm waiting for the move. Bring 110 people watching here. Well, there's anyone else besides to freaking record this. They're probably gonna have better quality than me at this moment because I didn't really do such a good job. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to me. I, I work really hard for you guys. I try what I can with my situation. And yeah, I, I don't have a lot of time to record nowadays because of what's ha happening at my house and all that. So yeah. I just hope you enjoy my content and give me some ideas of what you guys want me to do. I'll try to respond to you. Just don't try to send any linked comments because lately YouTube is not allowing you to do that. I know it's confusion. <laughs> Okay, my wife. Yeah, YouTube. Just don't tell any link comments because for some reason the link comments YouTube is breaking on my channel and not allowing me to reply to them. So just like comment normally or reply to comments, and I'll reply back. I, I will reply to every single comment as long as they're not link comments. For some reason, it won't allow me. He had to set the max C. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me come back. Give me come back. Give me come back. This is game two. Is that, another, is that another maxi? You're a good ridiculous crab, ain't it? So let's see if we're gonna be able to recycle anything. Their their decks are thinned, like to no point at this rate. Sixteen cards in that deck and eighteen in that one. Ridiculous. <laughs> there goes the mirror. He's dropping that. The Lancy. Tenko Seca. Get Tenko Sex. Get Tenko Sex. Wait, but you couldn't, you couldn't set that. Set that. I just noticed that, yeah. I just noticed you couldn't set that. Wait, but how did you set MSD? How did you know it wasn't? Well, he was right, it was an MSD, holy fuck.
Breaking down with the oh, gold three. So the is right. Yeah, their 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 decks are exhausted at this point. They have don't have a lot to go into, but Necros can just recycle all that if they have to stop. Going to win the match, everybody. So I guess that's all I can do for this video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to me, AC Gaming. And I guess I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace!